There's a quick video on setup time analysis and hold time analysis in static timing analysis. Static timing analysis. Basically, you do static timing analysis to determine if your circuit meets timing without actually having to simulate, which is what you do in dynamic timing analysis. So, so these are the two things that you check in static timing analysis. Setup and hold. For set setup analysis, let's consider a simple stretch to stretch path with some combi delay and let's say this is your clock this is input output basically if this is your clock The clock at flip-flop 1 will be slightly delayed because of these buffers. So you need to add the extra 4 buffer delay. And the clock at flop 2 will be 1 buffer delay less compared to this clock. And 3 buffer delays more compared to this clock. So it will be something like this. Okay, in set setup analysis, what you check is data launched at this edge can be correctly captured at this edge. Okay, and for every flop, there is something called T setup time and t hold time setup time is the time before which your data needs to be stable so that it can be captured correctly by the clock and hold time is the time for which your data needs to be stable after the clock arrival so that it can be sampled correctly before clock arrival and data stable after clock arrival This is let's say your setup time and this is your hold time TS, TH. The basic so the actual time that you have for the data is this much. Okay, which is your clock period. minus the T setup basically your data delay should be less than T clock minus T setup so that it can be sampled correctly by the flop and what all is part of the data delay it is this 4 buffer delay which is T launch clock delay plus the T clock to Q delay this, this is your clock to Q plus the combi delay this should be less than your T clock minus T setup plus the T capture and uh, to check for the worst case basically you check the max values t clock period is constant t setup so you take the worst case setup so that you have more subtracted from your t clock plus t cap and you have a lesser required arrival time And this is called the actual arrival time. So if you can meet this, 
you can be rest assured that your circuit will be timed and similarly for hold analysis you need to check that the next data does not override the existing data before the whole time of the clock so your data delay should be greater than your whole time again you need to check uh, what all is part of the data delay which is the launch which is the buffer delay plus the T clock to Q plus the combi delay this should be greater than your T hold plus T capture now to check the worst case you basically need to minimize this and maximize this so if you can meet this then you can say that your circuit will meet the whole time this is about STA there is something called uh, CRPR clock pre-convergence pessimism, re pessimism removal it is because of this buffer which is there in the clock path and the data path and we are adding some extra pessimism because we are considering max in this in the data part delay and uh, we are considering win in uh, the clock period or the required arrival time which we will see in the next video. Thanks for watching.